Praise the Lord, everyone. Welcome to Sunday Morning Christian Education. My name is Sister Teray DeLoach. I attend Greater Bethlehem Temple Apostolic Church, located on 4781 Hamilton Avenue in Cincinnati, Ohio, where Bishop James Chapman is the pastor. Today's lesson is titled, A Blasphemer Stoned. The lesson text comes from the book of Leviticus, chapter 24, verses 10 through 23. The golden text reads, Thou shalt not take the name of the Lord thy God in vain, for the Lord will not hold him guiltless that taketh his name in vain. And that's from Exodus chapter 20, verse 7. When I look up the word blaspheme, Google tells me it's the act or offense of speaking sacredly about God or sacred things. Profane talk or and an insult that shows contempt, disrespect, or lack of reverence concerning deity. The lesson tells us that blaspheme is to insult and show irreverence to God. You know, God is a God of order. He's not going to take care of He's not going to take any of that. Today's lesson, it says, God never takes a lighthearted approach to sin especially when someone directly confronts or challenges him. God established the Mosaic law with the people of Israel in order to prevent the Israelites from following the paths of their former captors and neighbors. The Mosaic law was an outstanding tool for keeping order within the congregation of Israel, and it was a fair and just system. God has established certain modes of behavior for his people, and it was necessary for the congregation to see that it was for their own good, not meant to limit their freedom, but to keep them focused on God's best for them. Again, I say, God is a God of order. So in our lesson today, there was a mixed man who has an Egyptian father and an Israelite mother. He had a dispute with an Israelite. And it, was, it wasn't stated what the dispute was about. But it was be believed to have some kind, of, some kind of insult to God. Because he was charged with blasphemy. He didn't worship the Lord the way he should have. Perhaps he was still loyal to the country's religion. When the blasphemy took place, the congregation heard or witnessed what happened. The man was taken to Moses because he was the leader. Therefore, he acted as the judge. The man was put into a holding cell, which was called N-word. N-word. Not N-word, but I-N-word. <laughs> you know, today... When someone commits a crime, they are arrested. They have a trial, then they are sentenced. The Lord spoke directly to Moses and told him clearly what to do. The man was to be stoned to death. He had broken the third commandment, which was to make a wrongful use of the Lord's name. He insulted the Lord. When a person spoke blasphemy against God, it reveals the condition of your heart. You know, you got a bad heart to, to blaspheme against God. The entire congregation carried out the death sentence, which was the people who was in close proximity of the incident. I mentioned in the last lesson this scripture in Romans 6 and 23. The wages of sin is death, but the gift of God is eternal life through Jesus Christ our Lord. Please, please don't play with God. He ain't to be played with. Now, let that be something to stay on your mind. God bless you and have a good week.